we can actually get into this boy. basically means it's a very long focal and telescope that comes in the form of a folded optics caster object. That's what he looks like. It's a 7 inch F15 Max Utoff. Let's get him out and see what he looks like. That's what the big boy looks like. And for comparison, That's a 5 inch max suit off. That's a 7. And oddly enough, by pure coincidence, I've actually also got. So, by happy coincidence, I've got a 3 inch max suit off, a 5 inch, and that's the 7. So, I'm curious to see what that can do on, say, for instance, the moon. This is just live from the eyepiece and it's sticking the uh, the camera, the cell phone, cell phone to eyepiece. Nothing more sophisticated than that. That's Copernicus, the big one. God, that's gorgeous. Look at that. And then there's always a lot of craters up. I'm not sure which pole of the moon that is, but it is the cratered pole of the moon. It's almost always best on the edge because you get all the shadows. So you actually see fabulously well there, right? So there's a crater, but there's been a resurfacing event. That, what you're looking there, is a low of the moon melted, formed a sort of lava sea, and it melted half of one of the craters. So those are the mares on the moon. Oh, dirt somewhere. That's not my eyepiece. Some nice little rills there as well. Can't really hold the very still at the moment. I'll, I'll do something better once I get the. Uh, this really is only the very first light on the telescope. So let's go take a look. See, this is the side of the moon where everything is. You know. Um, Yeah, everything, the, the sun's basically directly overhead here, so you can't see a lot in terms of relief on the shadows, relief on the craters, sorry. Anyway, cool. You should, yeah, you, you see the moon's not, uh, not a nice, even sphere, you see all the mountains and such like on the edge, a bit shaky. Let's see what I can do about that. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry about the music there. So why did I get the Planet Killer? Interesting story, which I'll come back to in a second. So this is actually a time lapse of all of today. So it's actually quite rare that you do astronomy during the day because there's only uh, one real thing you can look at, and that's the local star. So this was I've been doing. Uh, I've been watching the sun all week. And there's been this fantastic prominent system that I've watched get closer and closer to the edge of the sun as the sun's rotating. And finally today, it made it to the edge of the sun. So there were these fantastic prominences. The problem is that it takes forever to process the data off these things. It, yeah, it takes hours. So I've not quite got around to processing it yet. But uh, it turns out that some years ago, I did a time lapse of an entire rotation of Jupiter within one night. And you can only really do that when Jupiter's at opposition. That basically means it rises at sunset 
and sets at sunrise. So it's in the sky the whole of the night. And we're getting up to that sort of time again. Um, so I wanted to try the whole rotation of Jupiter thing again, but with more modern equipment. You know, a, a, a high resolution digital eyepiece, that sort of thing. So, about now, you might notice a little dot that just ekes into view. The little dot you'll see there is actually the moon. And the moon is tiny. You can cover it quite happily with, you know, your little finger, certainly your thumb. Anyway, so this is now me coming on to first light on the planet killer. Um... And if you've got really sharp eyes, you'll see that I managed to <coughs> point the pull out in the wrong direction when I first set it up. Anyway, anyway, that was me getting first light on the planet killer. Hopefully, with some clear skies, I'll get some better stuff later. So the big guy there is Copernicus. We get a decent focus on that. Oh god, these things are bad crashing them. Oh no, that's what we were looking at earlier. That's the uh, crater with the um, with the uh, lava that's just filled in half of the half of the crater. Ah, that's a beautiful little bright spot. It's snowing on the moon.